Hi, and welcome to a very special wedding edition of Johnny on the Spot. Well, ex-porn star and one of America's least trusted celebrities, Kim Kardashian, just got married today to basketball dude Chris Humphreys. The wedding cost $10 million, and the wedding costs will be defrayed, of course, by Mr. Humphreys when Kim files for divorce. Chris? Your 15 minutes are almost up. Well, there's a new triple double stuff Oreo, which is 100 calories and 4.5 grams of fat per serving. Kraft says a serving is one cookie. Count them one. I had a bag of double stuffed Oreos down to gallon of milk during one episode of America's Biggest Loser. As I stated on one of my recent shows, Jersey Shore sucks. The folks at Abercrombie apparently agreed with me and offered to pay Mike the situation Sorrentino to stop wearing their clothes. Abercrombie stock dropped 9%. See, never underestimate the power of brain dead lemmings who watch Jersey Shore. A Dancing with the Stars rumor says that Snooki, the chunky alcoholic from Jersey Shore, is going to compete this fall. Snooki dance? She can't even walk. Yes, our President Barack Obama, before he took off to Martha's Vineyard for a lovely vacation, stopped in Iowa, rolled up his sleeves, and asked some rural Iowans for some ideas on how to fix the nation's economy. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but wouldn't this be like a pilot asking you for instructions on how to land the plane? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on flight 197 to Chicago, we've reached our destination. But I don't have a bloody clue on how to land this Boeing 727, so anybody with any flight training at all, feel free to stop into the cockpit and help me get this baby on the ground. This has been Captain Steubing, over and out. And speaking of planes, French actor Gerard Depardieu was on a Paris to Dublin flight, stood up and urinated on a plane before takeoff. He simply said, I need to piss, and appeared inebriated. Uh, you think? Now, his publicist says he has an enlarged prostate. My take, unless your prostate is the size of a basketball, don't pee on a plane. And in surgery gone horribly wrong news, a Kentucky man is suing a surgeon who amputated the man's penis. You heard that right. Ouch. The doctor said it had to be removed because he found a malignancy in his Cape Crusader. The patient said it was supposed to be a circumcision. I know what you're thinking, guys, and as a matter of fact, I know what you're doing. You're grabbing your crotch and please tell me, Johnny, this isn't true, but it is. I don't care if I've got priapism, a malignancy, don't care what it is. No one is removing Dangus Khan, okay? It ain't happening. Let's say, I don't know, something goes horribly wrong and your dangly bits have a problem. Would you ever have it removed for any reason or simply choose to die? Okay, so I need your comments on this in the comment section below. Anything happens to you at all, and if somebody says it has to be removed, Mr. Happy's got to go, what would you do? Have it removed or die? Fast food chain Burger King is dropping its weird plastic looking king mascot who is almost creepier than the adult clown with a fright wig selling hamburgers to kids guy. All advertising mascots are weird or have some kind of a backstory. Take Captain Crunch for example. Full name Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch. He's been the captain of a cereal for over 40 years and he's about this big. Some advertising mascot facts. Jolly Green Giant, a manic depressive. Lucky Charms guy, diabetic. Budweiser Clydesdales, alcoholics, every one of them. Went to a party tonight, asked Emily about it. Do you have a favorite <laughs> advertising? Uh, um... no. Then Emily's mom, Carol. Do you ever watch a commercial and just go, I'm influenced by this guy, or you're, you're kind of subconsciously thinking I'm going to buy Frosted Flakes because of Tony the Tiger? Mr. Clean Sponge. Mr. Clean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got some news the for sponge. you. Mr. Clean, a lot of people don't know this, gay. Oh, I see still the sponge still works good. Ever notice that the uh, earring? Oh, Mr. Clean is gay. And, and the shaved head, it's gay. Oh. Michelin man? Gay. Steroids. Oh, I wouldn't imagine that. Pillsbury Doughboy, stomach stapling surgery. The beautiful, the lovely Kate Winslet from Titanic fame and Emma Thompson are forming a British anti-cosmetic surgery league. Kate said it goes against my morals to have plastic surgery. Well, of course, because you've been born with perfect skin, a beautiful face, and giant boobs. You don't need it. I'm going to tell you who really needs it this juggalo. Finally, Spy Kids 4 has just been released. It's in 4D, comes with a scratch and sniff card. I know what you're saying, guys. I do that all the time. Scratch, sniff. Don't tell me you haven't done that. Kim Kardashian heard about this and said, bam. Why didn't I think of that first? <laughs> By the way, congratulations, Kim, on the wedding. Thank you so much for watching Johnny on the Spot. See ya.